Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to show you a method of uninstalling software on Windows 10 and 11 using Revo Uninstaller. One of my annoyances with the Windows ecosystem is that when you uninstall an application, it often does not completely remove it from your system. Instead, you'll, you'll find there'll be remnants of this application found in the registry, application folders, as well as other various places. In other words, the uninstaller itself might remove the application from the program files folder, but it'll still leave parts of the application somewhere else on your system. In contrast, Linux is very good when it comes to software management, as it uses a package manager to ensure that when you remove an application, all packages that make up that application, regardless of where they are located on your system, are removed, especially if you use a purge argument. The Revit uninstaller works by running the uninstaller of an application, and once that's finished, scans for any files and register entries associated with that application that were not removed by the uninstaller. And at this point, the end user has the option to remove them from their system. So you can download the latest version of Revo Installer from the developer's website. Uh, you'll only need to download the free or portable version. The layout of the application is very straightforward. You've got a list of all your entries listed. And if you want to remove them, you right click on it and then choose Uninstall. So for this example, I'm going to use Firefox. You'll be first prompted to create a system restore point. I suggest you go ahead and do that. Once that's done, the normal uninstall process will begin. Now you have an option to scan your system to see if anything was left over. Out of all the options, you've got safe, moderate and advanced. I always go with the advanced, I've never had any issues with it. I'll click scan. First you have a list of all the registry entries. So if you click select all and then delete. And then any files left over. So once again, click select all and then delete. So at that point, you've now successfully removed Firefox as well as any registry entries and junk files that were left over. So still to this day, Windows does have a problem when it comes to completely removing applications from your system. However, with tools such as Revo and Installer, you now have an option to remove or at least clear any unnecessary registry entries and files that are left over after you have removed an application from your system. Either way, guys, with that, it does bring this video to an end. Thank you very much for watching. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again soon. Bye now.